what is up guys welcome back to another reaction video for the music to uh survivors of the void for risk of rain 2. i got a little sick during the release of risk of rain 2 so if my voice sounds a little bit off that's why i'm gonna try to go ahead and get through this and uh yeah hopefully not have to cut too much uh due to coughing uh but i am getting a lot better so i'll be back on it soon so we're gonna go through all of these songs for the new risk of rain voice uh void yeah so we're going to be going through all the new music to Survivors of the Void. And uh, this is the second song that was put up. This is Having Fallen, It Was Blood. Put the other headphone on. <clears throat> uh, it was night, the rain fell, and falling, it was rain. But having fallen, it was blood. Ooh. Damn, this is kind of funky right off. Ooh. I really like this one. Very active right off the right off. Mm -hmm. Okay. I always gotta love some Sims, man. It's so good. It's uh, it's so good. Man. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There we go. Guitars are coming in. Yeah, man. Yeah. That was that was insane. Yeah, that guitar that guitar part was uh, so good, so so good. That was such a solid song. <clears throat> yeah, I I there's not much to say besides that. It was just it was just so that's good. That's such a good song. Um, I really enjoyed once the guitar actually came in. Like the the song was always constant. Like you always felt like it was going. It was going already. Um. And then, yeah, he just added that guitar in there, and it was just like, ooh, I feel that. Oh, ho, ho, I feel that. That's so good. Oh, my God. Okay, guys, we're on to the third song that was released for the Risk of Rain soundtrack for the new Survivors of the Void DLC. We're going to go ahead and be checking out Out of Whose Womb Came the Ice. And we're just going to go straight into it. Yeah, starting out pretty simple, just a couple of instruments. This is how they like to do it usually. It's a very additive sound. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Yeah. I don't know if I'm right. It kind of reminds me of the moon, maybe. Maybe it's the. It's a couple different songs. It has the. A couple notes from the couple other songs, and I can't remember exactly which one. Right? It's kind of like playing with. It's like playing with a few different songs. Yeah, like the drums are kind of from like the old stage five in the Red Caverns or stage four. Yeah, stage four in the Red Caverns. Oh wow, just cut them mellow. Very interesting. Instead of going for like a huge section uh, towards like the middle to end, it's usually once you get because like it will follow the way that uh, you play in the game. So since you're going through the round and usually the timer is going up as you get into the later section of that round, usually the music will come with you. So the music is always getting higher and higher, and getting more intense as you get into that later timer in that stage. Um, but instead of going into that like bombastic super section where it's like like he usually does maybe like throw a bunch of guitars in there and just go like really crazy and uh, it gets intense makes the music really intense he didn't go for that he just kind of kept it going in that same pattern just added a couple different melodies here and there that was really interesting i feel like i heard a lot of music from a couple of the other stage songs maybe but couldn't quite check it or off the top of my head but it seemed like there's definitely some notes in there that i'm like oh that sounds familiar oh that sounds familiar and that's like really interesting and very good so that was a really cool song i really i really enjoyed that hi right, guys <clears throat> i'm gonna go ahead and keep doing this uh and yeah i'll see you guys out here for the next one